In this tutorial, I'm going to show you the free version of the Link Whisper plugin, which is going to help you optimize your internal links on your site. Internal linking is very important for SEO. By linking between posts, your posts are more likely to get more page views and possibly even rank better in search engines. So it's important to do, it's also hard to do, and Link Whisper makes it easy. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below this video. I try to answer them the best I can. My name is Bjorn Allpass from the WP Learning Lab, where we help you get better at WordPress and earn more for yourself, for your customers, and for your business. If you haven't done so yet, click subscribe and ring the bell so you don't miss any future videos. Now let's get started. In terms of SEO, internal linking is a very important thing to do. And internal linking is just links between pages on your site. For example, we're on a post on a website right here. And if we scroll down through the post, we will see these blue links. And this link goes to another post about RV water heaters. And now this post will also have links. This one links to the cost of electricity at RV parks. This one links to a portable grill post. You get the idea. These are links between pages on your site. And it's very important to create internal links because people end up reading more content on your site, which is a great signal for Google, and also gives you more ad impressions, which means you can make more revenue. But they're really hard to do. The reason is when you're creating a new post and you want to link to an old post, you have to be aware of all the old posts that exist on your site to be able to link to them. And you want to link to ones that are relevant to the post you're currently writing. And also when you create a new post, you want to go back to your old posts and create links to the new posts. And that's even harder because now you have to go and find the old post and find a spot in the old post that you can link to the new post. And it's just hard and it's very time consuming. And if you run your own site and create your own content or at least proofread and edit the content, it's doable for you to do your internal linking. But if you outsource your internal linking to someone who's not familiar with your site, it's very, very hard. Luckily, there's a plugin that can help. It's called Link Whisper. There's a free version and a premium version. I have a full walkthrough of the premium version on my channel. I'll link to that in the description down below in the card up above if you want to check that out. But the free version at least gets our feed a little wet with internal linking ease. And what it basically does is it reads your post and it suggests links to other posts on your site. So let's go back to this RV water heater one. Let's just go to edit post. And if we scroll down to the very bottom, we have a Link Whisper meta box. There's an ad for the premium. You can ignore that right now. What we're looking for is right down here. It's read through our post and here's what it's suggesting. On the left side are actual sentences on this post. So this sentence right here, you will find in this post. So we copy this, press control F and then paste it. We find that sentence right there, word for word. This sentence on our post does not have a link in it. As you can see, there's no link in the sentence, but the plugin is suggesting a link right here. Work when you don't have electrical hookup, it's suggesting you link to how to cool a camper without electricity. Now you have to decide whether that link is relevant or not. And if you have other links on your site that might be more relevant, you could choose those instead, just giving you ideas for possible internal linking. Here's another one. All you need to do is turn on your hot water heater, wait for the water to heat up and voila. It's suggesting to link to how long can you keep fresh water in an RV tank before it turns. Probably not the best link because it's not really relevant to what the sentence is talking about, but you get the idea. It's giving you possible link suggestions that you can then use or not use. And the pro version gives you a lot more to work with. And if you're finding this tutorial helpful, click the like button because that helps this video show up for more people on YouTube so we can spread the knowledge and help more people with this information. So make sure you click like if you like this video. If you want to create this link, for example, let's do this one right here. In our post, we have to remember which page we want to link to, how to cool the camera without electricity, and where the link is going to go. So let's copy this and do Control F again to find it. Paste it right in there, and here it is. Let's highlight that, and then click this little link icon in the toolbar, and search for cool, for how to cool an RV without electricity. There it is right there. Click on it, and the link is added. Now we have a link. Then we click on update, and we have an internal link created on our site. That's how easy it is with the free plugin. With the paid plugin, you can actually do it just by clicking. You can just go down here and there's check boxes and you can just click go and it'll add the links for you. And you can even edit the sentence. So if this sentence doesn't make a lot of sense with the link, you can even edit the sentence right here, then click go and it'll add all the links you want. If you have, you can add five or 10 or 20 at the same time to that post if there are that many suggestions here. But with the free version, we at least get some ideas. This saves you the time of having to read through your content and trying to figure out what you could link to. And you can see this data for every page, every single post and page you have on your site. You can see this little meta box 
and you can quickly and easily create internal links on your site. You can also check this box right here, which shows only link suggestions in the same category as this post. Say if you have a really big site like health and fitness and you have a category for running, a category for smoothies, a category for mental fitness, you can click this box and it'll show only links in the specific category of this post, which allows you to silo those posts, which means you're only interlinking between tightly related posts. For example, smoothies. Maybe you only want to interlink between smoothies because it's all the same category. That's more of an advanced technique. Look up clustering and siloing on Google or YouTube. You'll see a lot of videos and content about that, so you can learn more about it if you want to learn more about it. But it's definitely something that works for SEO. And in the pro version I mentioned earlier, there's a lot more to do in this meta box. You can check out the complete walkthrough tutorial on the card up above or the description down below. We also have a report. If we leave a post, if we go to link whisper on the side here and click on report, we can see internal links on each page. What you can and can't do while driving an RV. It has zero inbound internal links, meaning no posts link to it. It has zero outbound internal links, meaning it's not linking to any posts and it has one outbound external link. And so this would be a great candidate to click into to try to find links for. First, you click into this one, click on edit and add outbound links to find other posts it can link to. And then you go to other posts specifically to find links to link to this one right here. And if you go through all of your posts, which still takes a bit of time, even with the help of a plugin like Link Whisper, but it's way faster than doing manually. But even though it takes a bit of time, you get your internal linking done properly and relatively quickly and it's really important for SEO and for user experience. And this reports area also has way more data on the premium version, so you should check out that tutorial. And if you are interested in checking out the free version first, all you have to do is go to plugins and then add new, look up Link Whisper, and this is it right here. Just click on install and then activate, and you have the options we just saw available on your site. If you are installing this on a live site, you should back up your site first, because if something goes wrong, you can revert to your backup and save the day. I have linked to the tutorial on the card up above and the description down below to help you back up your site just in case you need help. So if you want to improve your SEO and your internal linking, check out Link Whisper. I highly recommend it. I use it on all my niche sites. I have the pro version and it works fantastic. But the free version works very well too if you want to get started with that. And the free version does a really good job. The pro version just goes a whole lot faster and saves you a lot of time but that's something you can upgrade to down the road. Next up, check out this video right here where I show you the pro version of Link Whisper if you really want to take your internal linking to the next level. Make sure you check that out. And if you haven't done so yet, click subscribe and ring the bell so you don't miss any future videos. My name is Bjorn Allpass from WP Learning Lab. Till next time, keep crushing it and I will see you in the next video.